I like, click, subscribe. Do I you know what time it is? It's Netflix time. This movie's called Resort to Love. Reeling from a broken heart and a career meltdown, a singer takes a gig at a swanky hotel resort where her ex-fiance just happens to be getting married. So it's one of those romantic, romantic comedies that just came out. It's about an hour 41 minutes long. Spoiler alert, let's just get it. So we got Erica here just chilling with a homegirl. She's more like a revisor. She's a singer and she thinks this is a big comeuppance. She did a song for this guy named Cree on his album. This was supposed to be going to the album release party. She got a threat in her dress and ended up ripping it up by accident. So she goes to her closet and ends up getting her old wedding dress that she never used. Okay, so she was dealing with this guy named Jason for about four and a half years. This dude walked out on her. He had a new job and he took a... A job in this whole different town called Charleston and basically weddings at this point get her nauseous But she's like man, we gotta do something about that dress though So they took stitches off the dress and made it her outfit and now it's time for a creator to drop that album But apparently one of his songs leaked on the internet and he says he's tired of being ripped off So he's holding the last album he did in his hand on his laptop and he basically stomps out his laptop saying nobody's gonna hear his last album So basically her come up just went up in the smoke now they're waiting by the bus she over there crying. Then she hears this couple out in the street and they're playing her and Jason's wedding song that was supposed to happen. And she's so distraught, she just spazzes the fuck out. By the way, their wedding song was Alicia Keys' No One, so you know she's getting dough off of this. Then we get this scene with Jason and his friend. She was on stage singing. Afterwards, Jason proposes to her. She said, yes, everything was all happy. That's what was supposed to happen. And she's all depressed watching old videos on her laptop. Yeah, that scene was a video. So her homegirl gets her gig to go to this island and she could basically make music there. It's like an island near Africa. She tells her, just think about it like your career and you're also taking vacation so she convinced her to go she gets there she meets up with one of the guys in the van she meets the director of the hotel she's very strict on her about everything she shows this nice pool and everything like that but she's like yeah only guests swim here you can't swim over here you go swim by the beach or some shit <laughs> she's like all right whatever then she meets the rest of her band members she talks to a girl called like come on you just got me singing on some Lou house shit but she convinced her to do it since it's so pretty out there i mean it's like you're already there anyway so the first song she has to do was a freaking wedding song mentally she's about to have a nervous breakdown let's just say she's not giving her best performance she all crying on stage and shit then he's like really then of course she gets berated by the mistress. He's like, hey, you gotta be happy with this shit. The next gig wasn't a wedding, so she could do some happy shit. After a while, she starts enjoying herself. Then she's lying on the beach and she hears somebody needs some help in the water. This random dude leg is cramping up and he can't swim to shore. He looks like he's about to drown. She goes out there to save him, but he's basically bringing her down. At this point, both these niggas looking like they're about to drown. All of a sudden, this dude comes out of nowhere and saves both of them. This guy's all hanging on his back and shit. So the guy had an underwater camera. He was trying to take pictures and stuff. So he leaves going back to taking pictures. Love interest time. You just had to take off your shirt though, really? Anyway, Erica and Khalid were talking, but she playing hard to get. Cause I guess in the back of her mind, she's still not over Jason. Then they leave later on, she's getting ready for a gig. So she's getting ready for a gig, it's another wedding thing. She bumps into Khalid again, and he's here for a wedding too. He's here for fucking Jason's wedding, wow. She found out his last name, come to find out they're actually brothers. He never met her brother before. Jason's best friend pops up and spots her. This is Jason's fiance, Beverly, and her sister, Amber. They all greet each other, you think shit about to hit that fan? But Erica's gonna be as cordial as possible. See, the only person that don't know that Erica was about to be Jason's fiance is Beverly, and he plans on keeping it that way. After a while, they get to talking alone, and they establish that shit. Of course, later on, they laughing at Jason, it's freaking hilarious. What are the odds that Erica and Jason would both be on the Africa at the same time? You think her friend just planned this shit, right? Yeah, clearly your friend planned this shit. Probably so I can get some closure and you can have fun in the process. You get your music popping too. So basically, she's trying to get away and do some things, and the manager convincingly forces Erica to hang out with Beverly. They about to start going on hikes and all that shit. So they get together asking all these questions, awkward moments and whatnot. Then after a while she gets away from them and chills out with Caleb. Then once again they all meet up again. The attention you can cut with a knife. And once again Beverly and her sister Amber don't know nothing. Then they got the whole crew going on a nature walk. Why is Jason so apprehensive? Because they crossed the high ass bridge and Jason gets stuck on a bridge. He's scared out of his mind. Apparently something happened to him back when he was a kid at some camp and he's basically scared of heights. So Erica goes back over to help him out. And she brings him across the bridge. And I don't even think Beverly even knew about his fear. Back to chilling, then back to the drinks. Then she spent some quality time with Caleb again. Meanwhile, Jason's having second thoughts about the marriage. He thinks he messed up letting go of Erica, but it's like, you got Beverly now. Erica singing another song. Guarantee you, Alicia Keys is getting her cheese. Oh, Alicia Keys helped direct the movie? Well, that makes perfect sense now. What are the songs you got in your arsenal? You sing other people's songs. They say cause by the watch her performance. Then she's done to get the talking. He's talking about seeing her later on, but she's not really saying no. But later on, she getting ready to go out, chill with the bride, bachelor party stuff. She's doing Nicki Minaj songs, chilling with Amber and all that. We found out Jason not really over Erica like that. Khalib's like, cut that shit out. You got Beverly more singing from Erica. Then while he's alone, Jason texted Erica like, what's good? Like, what the fuck you mean? She texted her back and shit while she with present company. Later on, they meet up. Don't do it. Don't do it. And there's a gecko on him as she pushes him out the way. Right at that moment, Beverly comes back to get her so she can do a duet. Then Erica and Beverly have girl time. Beverly, dumbass fur. I'm not saying she's dumb. I'm saying fur like she's been drinking. Hey, yeah, ladies, don't be trying to cancel me. I ain't got no money for yous. Anyways, you can tell by her facial expressions, they talking about Jason. Then Erica gets Beverly to the bed because she's dumb drunk. She puts her in bed. Meanwhile, Jason is actually texting her right now, talking about meet her downstairs. 
Really, Erica? So she gets downstairs looking for somebody she ain't got no business looking for. But she ends up finding Khaled. Why is he always got a damn shirt off? Jason in the bushes in the corner seeing his brother talk to his girl, to Erica. Why you care like that anyway? You getting married? They chilled her to the next morning by the beach. He talks about how he used to be ex-military and all that sort of stuff. And he messed up his leg so he had to get discharged. He doesn't know what he really wants to do with the rest of his life. She got that look like, yeah, I got something for you to do the rest of your life. Anyway, he's going to go back to meet his brother and she's got a gig in the morning. So there you go. Then Jason's parents come, mom included. And I don't know why it came to this point, but this is the first time Beverly is meeting Jason's parents. Yeah, right before the wedding, right? Mom's gotta do mom things. She starts singing and shit. This is like, really, mom? That's what we doing? So Kale distracts mom, like, yo, we gotta make a toast or something like that. And mom approves because that's her favorite son. Later on, Erica's chilling in her spot and she hears a knock at the door. She expects it to be Jason. Turns out it's not Jason, it's Khalid. And after a while, he suspected that Erica wanted Jason and Khalid was like, fuck all that. I'm here to make sure he don't make a damn mistake. So they're chilling, getting a drink on. They're like, all right, what should we do now? She got that look in her face, like, man, what's good? But then they do my favorite pastime. They watch the samurai movies. Which movie is this? It's so grainy and bootleg, but now I'm curious. I gotta figure out what movie that was. Anyway, it feels like they're getting closer a little bit. Then all of a sudden we see Jason heading out. Where the heck he think he going? But then Beverly pops up at the door to be with her boo. And they both tell each other they're actually both nervous about the wedding. So you know what? We just gonna be nervous together. That's right, no Erica for yous. Then the end of the Kung Fu movie. What movie is it? We still gotta find out. They ended up falling asleep. You don't fall asleep doing Kung Fu movies. Well, anyway, he decides to sleep on the couch and she takes the bed. And all of a sudden he ends up snoring. But he was fake snoring just to fuck with her. I can't even front. I thought it was pretty funny. Next morning she gets a knock at the door. It's Jason. Jason comes through when he sees his brother Khalid there. Acting like, yo, man, why you even care? Like I said, you got your wifey. And after Jason stormed out, Khalid was like, look, man, you ain't got to talk to. Uh, you ain't got. Erica. Messing up my words right now. Basically tell Erica, don't go chasing after Jason. You ain't got to do that. But she does anyway, trying to explain to him it was nothing. You ain't got to explain nothing to him. So while Beverly's getting pictures of a wedding dress, she's chilling with Amber and her mom. They see Jason and Erica by the beach. And their mom starts spilling the tea on their history. And Beverly looks like she's about to spaz the fuck out. Amber catches Erica and starts chasing her down the street. She's like, it's not what you think. Fall back. And she starts running. Then she runs into the director, finds out they're trying to cancel the wedding. And Erica's got to straighten this shit out. She hops into a moving taxi, but not realizing who was in the moving taxi behind her. It's Beverly and she's looking to beat the brakes off of her. She explains nothing happened between her and Jason. The only reason why she's pissed off because she really wanted closure. All this other stuff. It took them a while but they hashed it out. He still wants her to sing at the wedding. That is a movie fine, I get it. There's no fucking way this shit wouldn't have went left in real life. So they finally get married tied to knot. Erica sings at the reception. One more time with the Alicia Keys. You know she get the cheese off this shit. Then she finished singing. She goes to find Caleb and jumps into his arm for the kissing. And they don't show it on screen. But you know he was giving her the business. You didn't think I was going to say it throughout this movie, huh? Yeah. Apparently a homegirl got her a couple more months to stay down there. They ready to jump off rocks into the water. Just like that. And she got her man after she kept crying over Jason long enough. And there you go. I guess she was heartbroken about Jason all this time. I mean, they were together for like four and a half, five years. But he moved on a year after that and so did you. I guess you haven't had reservations about dealing with his brother. Bye, man. You gotta do you. He getting married, moving on, and that's what it is. Put the love on Netflix. Check it out. Like, subscribe, do all that. You don't know what time it is. Look easy on the easy, man. Stop. Big, you got this slow.